Logic Video 2, recording a Chinese melody. For this task, you're going to need to play a Chinese melody and be able to record it as well. Um, to start off though, just like before, what you need to do is go to the Visual Arts and Media folder, uh, find the Year 8 folder, and this time look for the file called Chinese Melody Name. Double click that and open it and then go to File, Save As and call it Chinese Melody and your name. Replace the word name. Uh, and then we'll have a look at Logic. So here we are again in Logic, this time with an empty project. Two instruments have been chosen for you, a Chinese stringed instrument and a flute instrument. Now, as I said, uh, it's empty now, this track. There's nothing for you to play along to, so I would like you to practice playing along with the internal clock of Logic, which is called the metronome, or some people call it the click. And how do we turn that on? That's down here, the little triangle. If we just push that on, and if I press spacebar, this is what we hear. Two. Now I've set that very, very slowly, deliberately, down here you can see it's um, 80 beat per minute, beats per minute, but the reason I've done that and the reason I think you should also do it slowly is because we're going to record it in real time and it's very important to just take our time, do it slowly and uh, try and get it exactly with that metronome click. Let's have a go at that now, um, let's just see if I can do it with the click or if I make any mistakes. Oh, uh, in order to record, you have to press this button down here. It's just this button here. Or you can press letter R. That also records for you as well. When you press record, it gives you a four, a count of four, and then you're in, like this. One, two, three, four. Whoops. So there you go, you can now see up here uh, that I've actually recorded some notes in. Let's just make this disappear for a sec. Let's double click this. Right, there are all the notes that I just recorded. Let's take a closer look at those. Um, here's a shortcut for you, very useful. Command and six. Right, now you can see in good detail all the notes that I just played. And uh, I don't know if you heard me say whoops in there, but that basically meant that I made a mistake. Let's see if we can find out where it is. Well, this first note, it's all right, but it's not exactly on the line, and that's where I want to put it, on the line, like that. That one could do with a move as well. Quite a lot of these notes need moving around. That one came in too early. Let's just go on and just see if we can see any obvious mistakes. Ah, right, we see this note here. Let's get a bit closer. Ah, well, it's uh, quite a long way away from the line, which means that it's not in time. And what I'll need to do there is just move that so that it sits, uh, make it a bit shorter as well. This one again, yeah, bit late, put it on the line. This one, a little bit early, and so on. Uh, so this is great because it means that if you play your music, oh, there's a mistake, I can get rid of that by deleting it. If you play your music live with a metronome but you make some slight mistakes, it doesn't really matter because you can get into the piano roll and use the mouse and move your notes around and put them on in time and get rid of any mistakes. So that's excellent. So here's the skills of you for the Chinese melody video. This is what I'd like you to be able to do before you can move on to the next task. You should aim to be able to play a Chinese melody. That's going to take a bit of practice, so just use the metronome and just go round and round and round, break it down into separate bars. You should be able to then record the Chinese melody. Remember how slowly um, you can play it to give yourself time to think about the next note. There is no rush, it's a very peaceful tune. Number three, uh, you should then be able to put your melody into time by using the piano roll grid. So going into that grid, um, 
Command and 6 and just using the mouse to make tiny little changes put every note on the right line so it's in time. Finally, I want you to be able to save and close your work. Okay, good luck.